has begun in Minneapolis. P.J. Fleck coaching game number one for the Gophers. I got to tell you, my man has almost as much energy as he does speed. Let's go, big boy. Love you, man. Love you, man. Go be you. Got it? Lead this football team. You're how, you're how, you're how. I'm ready to play. Let's go. First quarter, no score. One of the quarterbacks battling to be the quarterback, Connor Rhoda, over the middle to Tyler Johnson. Tyler is gone. Now, Tyler had 141 yards receiving last year. Mm -hmm. Tyler had 141 yards receiving in the first half of this game. Gophers on top, 7-0. Later in the first, Buffalo's quarterback, Tyree Jackson, he's a specimen. Yes, he is. 6 7 and change. We are tied up at 7. Finds Anthony Johnson, but Minnesota goes to the run game with Shannon Brooks up 14 7 at the half. And in the second half, Howard, it was all about the Gopher defense, which had some questionable moments in the first half, but showed what we expected in the second 30 minutes. Yeah, taking away the football is one of the keys to this defense. Having success, you see him playing in the backfield, tackles for loss, outstanding job by that front. That Jacob Huff interception, and then Jonathan Celestine's a really good player. P.J. Fleck and that go for defense, allowing just 69 yards in the second half. Buffalo was one of seven on third downs, and they possessed the ball for less than 10 minutes after the break. It was not the most exciting game ever, but there were glimpses, good moments for Minnesota on both sides of the football. Still interested to see what Fleck does with that quarterback decision between Rhoda and Demry Croft. Both had their moments in this game after the game, Kendra D. St. Aubin catching up with the brand new head gopher. Thanks, guys. Well, Coach, your first official victory in the Big Ten here with the University of Minnesota here at TCF Bank. How does it feel? Uh, it feels elite. It really does. You know, a win is a win. We didn't play particularly well, but I'm very proud of our defense, their, their resilience uh, to continue to come up with plays. I thought we moved the ball well on offense at times, just kicked ourselves in the foot. So uh, we got a lot to work on, a lot to work on, but this is the first right step. I'm proud that they were able to find a way to come out with a victory. Speaking of that offense, you didn't score a point since the first quarter until two minutes left in the fourth. Anything in particular that you can put your finger on? Inexperience. We got to get them experience as fast as we possibly can.